Hi, I'm Patrick Cruz, and I am an artist um, in many different mediums. I pretty much do what. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm an artist, I do everything. Institutions have this quality of like perfectness and like clear cut. Uh, you know, so when you throw in some kind of mystery, some kind of form of play, it really disrupts that structure. Or maybe I wouldn't even call it disruption. I'd just call it play. Like play is is a big role um, because through play you could still be critical, but still be gentle. I like awkward things. I like ugly things and bad things. Um, amateur things. I like craft. Um, I like things that are not called art first, you know, um, because I'm interested in how things become art and how, how does everyone agree that it is art, you know. It's the type of energy that I'm interested in. Um, there's a kind of raw quality um, that's not polished or something more organic. Um, because I think once you bring it to the white cube, to the gallery, it transforms into something else. I guess I aspire a certain energy um, that I want to convey into that project. It's very intuitive, like uh, I'm just kind of playing around with paint. But I don't really have a clear vision of like, oh, there's gonna be red there, there's gonna be blue there. It's like, no. I would say all the mediums that I work with is all rooted in how I make a painting, I guess. So it's layer by layer, it's also collage, it's, it's, uh, and uh, the shapes, sometimes I draw it, but most of the time I, I prefer these kind of organic shapes. That work uh, was titled Landscape Painting, and it was actually inspired of how uh, early colonial painters came to foreign lands and depicted the landscape through, by painting the landscape of that place. I invite viewers to step on the painting. So it it creates this kind of weird feeling for viewers because they don't want to sp step on painting. So it's kind of this kind of passive aggressive collaboration with the audience and they leave their foot their uh, footprints. So that becomes part of the work and it becomes this collaboration with whoever is walking in those landscapes. Um, and I think I've made like maybe nine or eight versions of it so far. Yeah. And every time it's always a different configuration. Sometimes they crawl on a wall, sometimes there's boxes, sometimes there's, vi there's video. So now it's evolved where the work is always changing. Moving a little bit away from making political art. Uh, I guess I'm more interested in, in focusing like how, how to make art politically um, instead of making political art. So. And trying to understand what that is. I'm gravitating towards a more immaterial practice. Uh, things that I could do on the site, things that uh, are temporary. Uh, so for example, my last project in BC, uh, which is in Nanaimo Art Gallery, I just painted the walls with these symbols that I've been making, called Stepmother Tongue. And for me, that was a big step because I, you know, I only brought a paintbrush and nothing else. I think what will remain definitely is is still having a, a light-hearted and playful approach, kind of openness, um, open openness to change and be adaptive is something that I will, that I will definitely keep and retain. 